The Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. On Monday, I was expressing my lack of love for April Fool's Day. And I've noticed something in the last couple of years that, oh, I've got to watch myself. I do a lot of news reading online. I've got a lot of news readers, news feeds, and things like that. And you don't always, of course, get the latest and freshest story. The algorithm gives you the most read story or the most popular story. So you've got to make sure to look at the story and see when it was published. Because the last couple of days, I've had a lot of stories that I went, wow, I've got to read that. And then you look at the date and realize it was an April Fool's joke. It was published on Monday. And I don't read any news on April Fool's Day. I've learned to avoid it. But now, I guess I have to wait a couple of days afterwards, too, to make sure I see that it wasn't posted on the 1st or on Monday in this case. Because a lot of false news gets posted on April Fool's Day because everybody thinks it's funny, but they don't look at the long-term hassle. I understand. We all got to have a good time. We all got to have a release. People are just looking for clicks. And I appreciate wanting the clicks, the clickbait kind of stuff. I just want the news. I just want the facts. Where's Big J journalism when you need it?